You might not know it, but Helena has a place in aviation history. The first flight ever across the Continental Divide took off from right here 111 years ago today. The pilot, 19-year-old Cromwell Dixon. But these guys were strapped into basically a, a kitchen chair, you know, in a, in a rickety old plane with a propeller behind them and an engine in front of them. And you could just imagine what that would be like. At the time, in 1911, planes were a novelty, and Dixon was one of the daredevils who flew them. The Ohio resident was part of the Curtis Exhibition Company, a group of aviators who performed in air shows across the country. Of course, the pressure was on them to fly faster and further and do more and more dangerous tricks, because uh, that, that's what the crowd came to want, and you know, it cost many of these, uh, these gentlemen their, their life. That's how Dixon ended up in Montana, first in Missoula, and then here in Helena. His historic flight across the Continental Divide took off from the Lewis and Clark Fairgrounds at 2.08 p.m. on September 30th, 1911. He flew about 17 miles and landed at Blossburg at 2.34 p.m. While that might not sound like much today, it was a huge feat at the time. You know, a lot of people flew in the Midwest where the ground was flat and the air was relatively stable on a sunny day. Uh, as we all know here in the Rocky Mountains, the air uh, can be rather turbulent at times, and unpredictably so. Dixon's flight here in Helena was one of his last. He died just days later on October 2nd during a flight in Spokane. You can still find Dixon's name here in the Helena area, from Cromwell Dixon Road across from the airport to the Cromwell Dixon Campground atop the Continental Divide. But aside from that, Kidston, who wrote the book on Dixon, said his legacy has largely been forgotten. He was part of the evolution of flight here in the United States, and uh, I think he kind of deserves a little bit of credit for that. Planes flying across the mountain, that is a common sight today, maybe in part thanks to Cromwell Dixon and his historic flight that took off here and ended here in the Helena area. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News.